has three official nude beaches at just a stone's throw of the Central Business District, the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. This creates the perfect opportunity to add a couple of hours at one of Sydney's nude beaches to your itinerary if you're visiting the city. In this video, we'll show you all three of the beaches and help you decide which one is the best for you. At the end, we'll also show you a nude beach just outside the city. Number one, Cobbler's Beach. This is probably the most popular nude beach in the city, especially among couples and groups of friends. The vibe is most often fun and social. To get to Cobblers, park at one of the parking lots on the peninsula. Parking is $4 per hour or $10 for a day pass. Look for the sign at the end of the peninsula and follow the trail down. The walk shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. At the other side of the peninsula is Obelisk Beach. To get there, you use the same parking as for Cobblers, walk to the south of the peninsula and find the sign to the pot down. Obelisk is mostly popular among the gay community and also attracts a lot of single visitors. Although Obelisk is just around the corner from Cobblers and look quite the same, the vibe is very different in the sense that there isn't much vibe at all, just people on their own doing their own thing. An inside tip is not to go on the hiking trails at the end of the beach, unless you're looking for something else than nude sunbathing and skinny dipping. This counts for hiking trails near all Sydney nude beaches, by the way. What we liked a lot about both Cobblers and Obelisk is that an ice cream seller passes by in the afternoon. The next nude beach is on the southern part of Sydney, and it's called Lady Bay. This nude beach is near the popular Camp Gove beach, so come early on sunny days because the parking lot fills up quickly. North of Camp Cove, you'll find a hiking trail that takes you towards the nude beach. It's hard to miss because other than the huge sign, you may also see naked people from the trail. We found Lady Bay a very agreeable nude beach. It's also quite popular among singles, but at least there was somewhat of a social vibe. And you get beautiful views of the Sydney skyline from the beach. For the last official nude beach in this video, we're driving an hour south of Sydney to the Royal National Park. To get to the Wirong Beach, take the Lady Wakehurst Drive and park at Otford Looking Point. From there, a hiking trail takes you to the beach. Do note that the hike takes about 30 minutes through Australian rainforest and the return is quite steep. So you'll need somewhat of a condition and it's best to bring hiking shoes. In return for your efforts, you'll get a spectacular nude beach surrounded by lots of greenery. If you like peace and quiet in nature when you visit a nude beach, this is definitely a place for you. Have a look at the description of this video for more details about these nude beaches. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to learn more about clothes-free places around the world.